So you were here because you got to the first problem wrong, right? So I want to review this quickly with you. Um, we'll go over this, then you'll go back to the rest of them. Hopefully you'll have better luck, okay? The first thing I want to look at is this question that you got wrong here. It says, what is the voltage drop of 150 feet of number 12 stranded and uncoated American wire gauge carrying 20 amps, okay? The first thing we're going to need to know for that is the... Um, equation. So voltage drop VD is equal to 2 times L times R times I divided by 1000. Okay, and again that voltage drop is equal to 2 times the length times the resistance times the current divided by 1000. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is this chart here. All right, this table 8 conductors and properties few things I want to go over with you on this. Um, you'll notice that from 18 to number 8, there are doubled numbers, 18, 18, 12, 12, 8, 8. From there on, it's only a single number. The reason for that is that you have single and stranded. Single will be the first number, stranded will be the second. Right? The reason that it stops at 8 is that after 8, all wire must be stranded. Okay, So all the stuff from 6 down to 2000 is all going to be stranded. Okay. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to look for on this, especially for this form you're filling out right now, everything is going to be copper, but it's either going to be uncoated or it's going to be coated. Okay. The next thing is that you have ohms per thousand foot and ohms per thousand foot. You have coated ohm per thousand foot. You have uncoated ohms per thousand foot. Okay, important important to uh, make that distinction. We will not be using the ohms per kilometer or ohms per kilometer. Okay, so th again, the big thing you need is that solid is on the top, stranded is on the bottom, and we are dealing with either coated or uncoated. But in either case, we will be dealing with ohms per thousand foot and ohms per thousand foot. Okay, so now that we've discussed this chart a little bit. All right. Um, it says, what is the voltage drop of 150 feet of number 12 stranded and uncoated American wire gauge carrying 20 amps? Well, I already wrote the formula down over here, so now let's start just filling in the numbers. I'm going to rewrite it right below it. So voltage drop is equal to 2 times the length. So the length we said was 150 feet. Times the resistance, I don't know the resistance yet. We'll look that up in one second, so I'm just gonna leave a spot there. Then I will go to our current, which I have here as 20 amps. So I'll have 20. All of this will be divided by a thousand. 12 stranded and uncoated. So I'm gonna go up to number 12, and remember stranded will be the second one, and we're gonna go uncoated which will be this side. So it looks to me like I'm looking at a 1.98 right here. Okay, so I'm gonna type, plug that in, 1.98. Now it's as simple as doing the math, all right? I'll bring up my calculator here, I'm gonna do two times 150 times 1.98 times 20 will equal 11,880. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue to write this below. VD, all of these together came out to 11,880. All right? And we have to take this 1,000 down now because we still have to divide that by 1,000. So uh, now I'll bring this back up. I'm going to do 11,880 divided by 1,000 equals 11.88. So that will be 11.88 volts. So the correct answer for your first problem that led you to where you are now is at 11.88 volts. Use this method and use this chart that I'm giving you to help you as you move along. Okay, thank you.